Good evening and welcome to our uh, our Monday Thursday service over online. Um, you might be thinking, how can you possibly do a Monday Thursday service over the internet? It's not like I can just reach out and wash your feet and have you wash mine. Um, but we've been thinking a lot about what type of service we would want tonight. And we've been thinking a lot about healing. Can washing of the feet truly heal? That's what I've been thinking about all week as we prepared for this service, as we replaced the foot washing service with a service of healing. Was it a healing moment for the disciples as Jesus sat there and washed their feet? I think it was. And I was immediately reminded of Father Tom's uh, Lenten series um, talking about um, Won't You Be My Neighbor, uh, Fred Rogers and the Gospel of Matthew all together. I was immediately thought of that moment when Fred Rogers offer, asked Office, Officer Clemens to come and sit next to him in the pool of cool water. It was a hot day in the neighborhood, and Mr. Rogers was sitting there with his feet in the small uh, tub of water, and Officer Clemens, Officer Clemens, <laughs> he was a postman, um, he came, and I think it was an officer, wasn't it? Oh, can't even remember. It doesn't matter. He came and he noticed, and there was Fred Rogers with his feet in the water. And he sat down and he took off, and Mr. Rogers welcomed him, said, would you like to get your feet cool? And he sat down and he did that. He pulled off his socks and his shoes and he put his feet into the tub. Now, that seems like an unremarkable moment where you have two men, two grown men sitting cooling off their feet in a tub. But what was remarkable was is that Mr. Rogers was white and Officer Clemens was black. You see, this was a time shortly after Martin Luther King was shot and tensions were incredibly high between all of the things that were going on in our country in the civil rights movement. Black and white could not swim together in public pools. This was a huge ordeal to ask a black man to come and sit and to cool off his feet into your pool. It was a radical moment. It was a moment of healing and foot washing all at once. Jesus knelt in front of his disciples and washed their feet. It was a moment of humility and vulnerability. A moment of humility, of recognizing the humanity in another person, be it another disciple, another friend, be it a white man or a black man, be it a man or a woman, to recognize the humanity in each other. It was also a moment of vulnerability to be open to washing the feet, to be open to putting in your feet in the same pool as someone very different than you. Jesus teaches us that to offer true healing to the world, we as disciples must be humble and vulnerable, just as Fred Rogers taught us, just as Jesus taught us. And I couldn't help but think that during this time of stress and fear, part of me says, wow, it could be an opportunity for us to be really human in front of each other. And part of me goes, it's such a stressful moment. I'm not sure I want to share that part of me with the world. I think now is the time. Today is the time. To be, to be Jesus' disciples, we need to be able to crack open our hearts to that vulnerability and that humility and to trust that we'll see each other, we'll see the love and we'll share the love 
and hopefully experience God's healing that comes through that humility and vulnerability. Lori and I talked about putting this service together and we hope that tonight you can take a moment, dig into that part that is hard, maybe that stress that's been happening, maybe that fear of what is to come in these very uncertain times and to offer them up as a prayer for healing so that we may be a healed people through Jesus. I give thanks to Fred Rogers and to Father Tom and to Jesus for teaching us what it means to be a disciple of Jesus.